Well, that was pretty good to be honest. Later, some cows were on the tracks in front of Toby. He couldn't puff past them. Go away, cows, please. I need to chuff through. Well, that wasn't gonna work that way. They didn't take any notice of Toby. They didn't move. They were too busy mooing and chewing. Toby knew what he needed to do. He needed to blow his new steam whistle, but Toby was scared. I don't want to use this new three-chime steam whistle. I wish I had my little bell back. Then another idea flew into Toby's funnel. I know what I can do. I'll get help. So Toby reversed down the track to find help. Some farm workers were working in the field. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? The farm workers didn't hear Toby. Toby blew steam and rattled his rods. But the farm workers still didn't hear Toby. They were too far away. Bust my buffers. They can't hear me. Toby knew he should use his new steam whistle. But he was still too scared. I wish I had my little bell back. So Toby puffed on. Somewhere he had to find help. But Toby couldn't find anybody to help him. So he huffed back to the cows. I do hope the cows have gone back to their field now. But the cows hadn't gone back to their field. They were still mooing and chewing all over the tracks. <coughs> oh, no. Toby tried to bit them with his cow catcher. But they <coughs> still wouldn't move. Oh boy. Oh no, Henrietta. I think we're trapped. This is so bad, by the way. Then there was trouble. Toby heard a noise that made his wheels mm. wobble. Another engine is coming. They'll crash into the cows. Tom's friends will call me the new. It was Thomas. Bye. Thomas was racing this Friday. His firebox was fuming, and his boiler was burning brightly. I have to tell Thomas about the cows. I'll have to use this new whistle. Toby closed his eyes. His firebox flared. Steam blew into his new three-chime steam whistle. It was the loudest whistle anyone had ever heard.